afternoon. I'm Mary Calvi. And I'm Chris Raggy. We begin with the NJ Transit audit. Governor Murphy has called the agency a, quote, national disgrace. Today, he's addressing concerns of frustrated commuters, releasing details of the long-awaited report. CBS News' Janelle Borelli is live at the station in Metuchen with that story. Janelle. Well, Mary and Chris, the governor chose a good location to make his announcement today. Commuters here in Metuchen say yesterday trains were so delayed, some people never made it to work at all. Now, as for the audit, the governor says that some of the improvements are already underway, but that the audit does serve as a good roadmap going forward. Plenty of exhaust fumes from New Jersey transit riders ahead of Governor Murphy's arrival. My commute into the city from Metuchen was three hours. Commuters here in Metuchen, some of the latest casualties of what many consider a failing system. No train during rush hour Monday for a full hour and a half. There's dangerous conditions, people overflowing the, uh, the platform. I actually actually went home. I couldn't get to work. Not No way to run a railroad, really, is it? We knew we needed to do more than just, as they say, pop the hood, change a couple of spark spark plugs and expect the car to run as new. Governor Murphy addressing their concerns today, releasing the audit that he ordered a full review of the agency. The audit identified a broken operational chain of command. The five top areas that they've identified for us to review are organizational structure, customer experience, procurement, personnel recruitment, and the operating capital funding sources. These are not new to anyone who has heard us speak over the last several months. Transit officials say they've already begun making changes with new leadership, more funding, and focusing on a new communication strategy. After reviewing the report, they say they will also take steps to make staying with the agency more attractive for employees by offering sign-on bonuses for conductors and bus drivers. They plan to also create a so-called central war room for customer communication. We are not going to let this audit collect dust. Regardless of what officials promise, many riders remain skeptical, believing that what the system really needs is an overhaul and better accountability. Fix it. We got to do better. We got to do better. And transit officials say a lot of the suggestions in the audit are obvious issues that they already knew about, but they say now that it has been released, they will be doubling down in their efforts for improvement. We're live this afternoon from Metuchen, New Jersey. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.